Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl G Vanity here with another video for you guys. And today's video is just going to be about my face. And if you guys refer back to my previous video, which I haven't uploaded yet, but by the time this video goes up, it will be up. So if you guys refer back to that video, it will just show you steps on how to get your makeup to always look good like your face makeup so starting by skincare so make sure you guys go check that video out i will have it in the link right here it will pop up right up there and it will be in the description box down below so don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video leave a comment questions concerning anything that you have to say concerning this video in the comment section down below and i will be checking it for you guys and if you guys want to see how i achieve this look then continue watching so I'm going to start with my eyes and for the shadow today I'm going to be using the Jackie Aina palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using the shade Edges and as you guys can see I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm applying that on my lid as a transition shade. For my crease area, I'm going in with the same palette and I'm using the shade Credit and I'm just blending that all around my crease and on top of edges. For my lid color, I'm using the same palette and I'm using the shade Sponsored, which is like a really nice shimmery green shade. I love that color so much and I've used it a lot, um, actually. And I'm just literally applying that all over my lid, like a cut crease, but I'm not actually cutting my crease. I'm just applying it straight onto my lid for a softer look. I wanted to add a little bit of color so I went in with the shade Pinker and I applied that I applied that in between sponsored and in between uh, edges and credit just to add a little pop of pink. For my inner corners, I use the shade Trust Issues from the same palette. Now we're getting into skin. I already went ahead and moisturized my face. And for primer, I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I'm just applying that all over my face. For foundation today, I'm using the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation and I'm in the color 460.
So what I do is I put some foundation on the back of my hand. And since I want a lighter coverage today, I'm going in with my beauty blender. So I tap my beauty blender on the foundation on the back of my hand and lightly just press that into my skin. I'll be using two concealers today. For the first concealer, I'm using the Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And I'm using that to conceal under my eyes, my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And then on top of that, I will be going in with the Lancome Concealer. Uh, I will leave the color in the description box because I do not remember exactly what shade that I use. So the shade that I use for the Lancome Concealer is 435. To contour, I'm going in with the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Stick and I'm using the color 360. So a good tip you guys, as you guys see, I apply my concealer first before I apply my contour and I let it dry down a little bit because it's been proven that when you leave your concealer to dry down a little bit, it blends out more and it gives you more coverage. So don't just put your concealer in blended because it might make it streaky and you know cakey. So just let it sit for a second and then blend it out, you have more coverage. To set my cream contour, I went in with the Crayon Case Contour Edition Notebook and I went in with the shade Bobby. And now to set my concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and I'm using the number 20 which is light medium. And I'm just setting everywhere that I apply my concealer. Also, you guys, a trick that I do is when I'm setting my concealer, I don't bake. So that's just a thing. I don't do that no more. I don't bake. I don't like baking. So what I do is I put my sponge in the powder and I dab it on the back of my hand so I could have as light coverage from the powder as possible. And I just literally press it into my skin where I applied the concealer.
for blush I'm using the Saharan blush volume 1 palette and I'm going with the orange shade which is Toby I've been loving orange blushes lately it just looks really good on my skin tone and this one is from Juvia's Place Under my lash line, I'm using the color Big Wig, which is the purple shade from the Jackie Aina palette. For highlight, I'm using this Maybelline Chrome Highlighter. Uh, I will leave the shade in the description box because I do not know it, you guys. And I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow a little bit, my forehead and my chin a little bit. For my lips, I'm going in with three glosses from the Life Glam Kiss Me collection. And I'm going in with the first one, which is Naples. And then the second one, which is Sherbert. And the third one, which is Sequence. Now, don't mind how my tubes look, you guys, because I've had these lip glosses, uh, liquid lipsticks forever, okay? So I'm using the darker shade first, and I'm applying the pink shade on top. And then Sequence, which is like a shimmery liquid lipstick, and I'm putting that all on top. And then at the end, I ended up adding some gloss because because I didn't really like it matte so I just added some random gloss that I had To bronze up my face a little bit more, I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer, and this is in the color Deep Brown, I believe. And I'm just literally just applying that on top of my contour, like near my contour, just to give my face a little bit more like bronze, like glowy look. This is the Mud Cosmetics Clear Brow Gel, and I'm using that to set my eyebrows so they can stay in place. And that's it for today's look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!